begin, though, at five with major developments in the worldwide fight against the coronavirus. The death toll in the U.S. is on the rise, and one country is taking drastic measures to try to slow the spread. Glad you're with us today at five. The development's happening pretty much by the hour, sometimes seems by the minute. It does. So uh, let's get you caught up on today's big headlines. The state of California has declared its first coronavirus death, marking the first U.S. death outside of Washington state. That brings the total in the United States to 11. Meanwhile, Italy has ordered all schools closed and has banned people from attending sporting events until further notice. Let's get over to Frank McGeorge with what's happening now here at home, Doc. Yeah, Kim and Devin. In fact, lawmakers have reached a more than $8 billion deal to combat the coronavirus in the U.S. And testing is now expanded to anyone who needs it, although practically speaking, it's still going to be limited by the availability of test kits and doctors' discretion on who really needs to be tested. Shifting front lines in the fight against coronavirus as new cases emerge. Six in Los Angeles County, where officials declared a local health emergency to access additional resources. We need every tool at our disposal to make sure that we are ready to support any coronavirus patients who are diagnosed and to prevent any further spread. A school in Rhode Island closed after a third person associated with a school trip to Italy came down with coronavirus. And New York, confirming family members and a neighbor of a Westchester man with the virus have also tested positive. We know what this coronavirus is. Uh, it is easily transmitted. Uh, but 80% of the people who get the virus will self-resolve. Congressional negotiators reaching an agreement on $8.3 billion in emergency funding. The final bill could be on the president's desk by the end of the week and would help efforts to dramatically ramp up diagnostic testing. Officials shipping 75,000 new test kits announcing any American can now be tested for coronavirus pending a doctor's order. I want to thank those that are gathered around the table. Vice President Mike Pence meeting with leaders from the nation's top diagnostic labs just after he and President Trump sat down with the CEOs of U.S. Airlines. All passengers on all direct flights from all airports in Italy or South Korea are being screened on multiple times before they board any of these airlines. As the CDC instructs travelers returning from those regions as well as Iran and China to stay home and monitor their health for two weeks. Now, the World Health Organization says now, globally, 3.4 percent of people known to have had the new virus have died. But experts caution that number will change again as we get a better idea of how many mild cases of COVID-19 are not being counted. By comparison, though, the death rate for SARS was about 10 percent and the death rate for seasonal influenza is only about 0.1 percent. But we still, that's our, our problem really is how few people have been tested. We really don't know how many people have it. At the that's moment. exactly it. I mean, the scope of our, the N, that is the, the denominator yep, there, yep. is just not completely clear. But the revision up of 3.4% is a significant change, I will okay. say. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. thanks, Doc. Well, the coronavirus roller coaster ride on Wall Street continued today, but this time it's very good news. At the close of trading, the Dow was up more than 1,100 points, posting the second biggest single day point gain in history. The gains today they represent four and a half percent of the total value of the Dow index. And our special coverage of the coronavirus will continue over our next 90 minutes of news. Ahead at 530, the doc is back with concrete answers to your coronavirus questions. Also at 530, Help Me Hank is in with the four things you need to be thinking about when it comes to the coronavirus. And at six, Help Me Hank back to take us inside the state's coronavirus command center. So a lot more to come.